Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In the last two videos, we have seen how we can detect the lane lines on the road using OpenCV. Now, till now we have only worked with this image. And in this video, we are going to try to apply what we have written, not on an image, but with the video frames. But you have already learned in the previous videos that a video frame is like an image. So a video contains many number of frames. So if we apply the same technique on each frame, we will be able to detect these lane lines on the video frames also. So let's apply that concept on our script, what we have till now. So right now I have added this test.mp4 video inside my project. So let me show you how it looks like. So our video looks like this. So we are going to apply all these concepts which we have applied on an image on this video. So let's get started. So I hope you have uh, this code which we have written in the last two videos. The only thing we need to do here is we need to read the video instead of an image and then apply uh, those concepts on the frame instead of an image. So we uh, till now have two functions, region of interest, draw the line, and we have this code. So this all code we are going to uh, enclose inside the function so that it will be easier to apply all this code on the video frames. Now, as you already know that this will not be used because we are reading the videos. So we don't need to read the image, obviously. So we are going to comment these two lines out. So we don't need to convert uh, BGR to RGB because we are going to use this native CV2 library, not the uh, matplotlib library for which we have converted this BGR to RGB uh, image. So now we are going to define a function. So let's define this function and I'm going to name this function as process and it's going to uh, take an argument which will be the image argument. And all this code which is under this, which we have written in the last video, we are going to enclose this code inside this uh, process function. We don't need these two lines because we are not going to use matplotlib for uh, processing this video. So I'm going to remove these two lines and I'm going to just give a space here for this code so it can be enclosed inside this function. Now at last or at the end of this function, we are going to just return this image with lines. So we are going to return this image with lines using this process function. That means on every frame, we are going to draw the lines and return it using this process function. Next, we are going to read the video using the video capture function. So I'm going to declare a variable cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture. And then we are going to just pass one argument, which will be our video file, which is test.mp4 in our case. So test.mp4. And then once we have this video, we are going to check if the video uh, frame is available using the while loop. So let's use this while loop. And we are going to check if cap dot is open is valid or not so is opened and this function is going to return the boolean value so if this uh, video frame is still available it's going to return true and whatever we write inside the while loop is going to be executed now in the next line we are going to just read every frame so we all know from our previous uh, videos that this cap dot read uh, returns two uh, result or two variables. One is RET and the other is the frame. And we are going to just say cap dot read. And then we are going to apply our process function on this frame. So we are going to once again uh, uh, take this frame variable and we are going to overwrite this frame with the lines on the frames. 
So this we are going to get from our process function. So let's call the process function and pass the frame variable uh, inside it. Okay, so this frame is going to go to the process function. It's going to process everything. And then the final result, which we get is going to be saved once again into the frame variable with the actual uh, lines on the frame. In the next line, we are going to just show our result using cv2.imshow method. And we are going to just pass the frame variable here. In the next line, we are going to just write the code for uh, the quitting from this loop. So we are going to just say if cv2 dot wait key is going to be one, and then we are going to apply the end operator and then write zero x ff for uh, the cross platform functionality, and then we are going to just say is equal to ORD. So wh whenever somebody uh, presses the Q uh, key, then we are going to exit from this loop. And then in the next line, we are going to just say break. So break out of the loop. The last two line, in the last two line, outside this loop, we are going to just uh, call the release function on the cap variable. And we are going to destroy all the windows in the CV2. So we are going to just say destroy all windows that's it hopefully this is going to work so let's uh, just run this uh, script once again and let's see what happens and here we got the error and it's coming from this line which is cv2 dot i am sure we forgot to give the first argument here which will be the name of this window we are going to just say frame here and let's run this uh, script once again and let's see what happens and you can see on this video on this uh, lane line, our lines are drawn, right? So this is the result which we were expecting. We can improve this result by adjusting few uh, variables. So we are going to first of all uh, press Q to quit. And let's uh, change uh, some of uh, these values here in the half line transform. So we are going to just say that the max line gap is going to be 100. We are going to reduce the threshold value to 50 and row value to 2. Okay, inside uh, this uh, half lines p method. And let's run this code. So let's see what result we get. This is also okay. Let's uh, improve it a little bit more. In the Kenny edge detection, we can uh, reduce uh, this threshold value here to 120, the second threshold value. And let's run this code once again. And now we get the better result. So the problem might be the edge detection. So we have reduced our uh, second threshold and now we get the better result. You can see uh, on this middle lane, the lines are drawn clearly. So this is how you can write a simple script to detect lane lines on the road. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.